morning um and by morning i mean it's 12 it is afternoon and after um going out last night with my mother um to karaoke i had a wonderful time but i did not get up today so it's party day um if you know you know and we're having a party in my house tonight it is formal attire there may or may not be a murder mystery game going on um and it's going to be wonderful so Today I will be setting up. I'm currently um, still in my retainer. Terrible. And it's just going to be a wonderful time. So I'm going to show you guys how it goes as we set it up. Should be really fun. Part two, here we are. I'm going to get ready for this very long, very fun day. Um, I have a story for you guys. So I'm on uh, Bumble BFF, which is like a way to use Bumble and make friends. So it's like not for dating, it's just to make friendships. Uh, and it's set up on a different mode so you don't like interact with like romantic people, whatever. So through this app, I've met three women now and hung out with them in person. And most recently on Monday, um, I met this girl and we decided to go for a hike. And we're talking and we're talking about our interests and all that good stuff. And then she, I was like, what, what do you listen to? Like, what kind of podcast do you like? And she said, Joe Rogan. She said, Joe Rogan. If you know anything about Joe Rogan, you know what he stands for. And if you know me, you know I don't stand for it. So in short, I will never be speaking to her again. I know that sounds dramatic, but like, if you know me, you know I'm very strong about my beliefs and my opinions. So like, no, that's not happening. I am back. Um, I rearranged my apartment. I'll let you see. There's like a table there now, and then we've got like my couches over here. It's very cute. A lot going on. Really fun. Anyway, oh, and then here's the dress I'm wearing. Um, I actually have a little story time for you guys about last night. Um, <laughs> I went to the karaoke bar with my mom, and I was in the bathroom, and I was talking to these ladies. And I don't know how we got on this topic, but I was like, yeah, you know, I work like at a corporate job, like downtown, yada, yada, yada. And like, there's nobody my age there. And they're like, oh, well, like, where do you work? And so I told them where I work and they're like, oh, well, you should work here and like named a different company in the area. And I was like, I can't work there. I have an ex-boyfriend who works there. And I just happened to know that. And they said, well, yeah, that'll happen. And I was like, huh? I was like, that's gonna happen to me? And they're like, well, you know. I was like, no, I don't know. Like, you're you're a little older than me, you tell me. And like, I don't know, I just felt like future me was like looking at me and like, you're gonna experience this. It was a very interesting time. Um, kind of terrifying, to be honest. So, um, yeah, talk to people in the bathrooms. Um, it's a good time, it's a good time. <laughs> um, so as you can tell, I'm ready. And I don't have my gloves on yet, but that's okay. I have some things to do on my phone. Um, here's the look. And we are about to write the murder mystery prompts. Um, I'm going to be the dead body. <laughs> and um, I think we have a pretty good prompt set up for everybody to play along and like get in character. So I'm very excited to determine who the killer's gonna be. And I'll let you know how it goes. Also, if you remember my little like gasoline thing I got from the thrift store on that vlog, it does not work. Um, very disappointing, but it doesn't like the liquid doesn't flow through it at all, so like we can't use it. So super bummed on that, but it's still cute crap. So 